Hi guys, this is Kirk. Um, today, I'm gonna pull down this door and I'm gonna service the winder. So, I'm gonna show step by step how this is done for the older model cars. Now, this is a winding system, not an auto. So, I'm gonna service this and show you how the cable system works in it even the boat, the auto, and the winding system, alright, so I'm going to do this step by step, and um, hope if you have a vehicle that might have a window problem, this may or uh, can help you in some way, alright, the first thing you're going to do is take this out, and remember, everything you take out, remember where you put it down all right the next thing i'm gonna do is take this out try not to lose this when you take this off okay now the next thing Some people usually have clips on them, they don't have screws, so they can just remove the clips. This section here will replace uh, here when you're ready. Now, the next step now, I need a 10 spot. Now, I should let you know this. Before you start pulling this, make sure. The window is about this height, but you need to pull this, alright? Now, it is good to put a piece of cloth or paper at the bottom because the glass itself can fall. Now, before you pull the back ones, right, the bottom, it's good to pull these first. Right. 
what you do here is um, take these two out finally. Now, this is what you're going to do. You hold the glass with your left hand. Slide this up. Okay, try not to let this go. show you something here guys this is how the cable system work now the cable system works like this when you roll it it slides this okay. one end and then you come back down and slide it to the next end now a motor system a winder usually replace this so when you press the button it out of spin right the motor to spin this and do the same action as if you are doing it manually now in some cases if there's no parts for your vehicle you can use the same cable system that used for the bicycle Upgrade. Now, how you do that now is this. Make sure when you're going to change the cable, if it's broken, this is fully at one end. And the end it should be is opposite from where it's going to splice. Now, if you look inside here, see inside here? Look good. Now, you can use a crimp to crimp onto the cable. That prevents the cable from sliding backward or forward. Now how you do this now, you get the bicycle cable and you give it about this length over and you crimp it, push it in. You're going to remove this and slide this through here and you're going to push around the cable and run it back in the exact groove as all this is. When that is done, you slide it back through here and come back here. Ensure the tightness and there's no play. You must be firm and this must be 100% up. Okay? When that is done now, what you're going to do? I see some guys make a loop and can tie the cable and then tie the cable and then clip it off. Because somehow when the cable tie, it must firm up. And then you put it through the next one. But remember this carefully. The closer you do it to this end, it's better for you because you know why? If you do it two inches too much or an inch too much, this is what's going to happen. When you come up to the other end, it's going to catch this here and here. And it won't able to bring the glass all the way up. So the whole trick about this is to ensure that you have it as close as possible here so this can go maximum height all right so what i'm going to do today right i'm going to um take some of the lady grease <laughs> and i'm going to put it here right it does help especially for vehicle that is parked in the rain all right we can slide it here a little there mine is kind of good, so it's not so bad so I'm kind of showing you guys how this work so like I said this is a manual one the automatic one is different this control with electrical wire and you press hmm, you slide the glass up but it's the same principle 
right? And just in case you are in a situation you can change a cable using a bicycle cable that goes to the back brake, not the front, all right? Now, we're gonna fit up. And this is how it's fit up. the direction I put it in. thing to do too. You see, these, these screws, nuts, they leave an impression. So it's good to follow the impression that is left. Right? Then, come here again. This That is done now. Slowly slide back down the glass. Try not to drop. And it shall fall right back. release it now for your hand up here. are plastics, right? So try not to tidy it, but not too much. Okay. Now, the next step of this Now, 
Catching on sometimes the cover can be difficult, especially with this. So what I usually do is this. Mm -hmm. Alright, now you place this on. The next step of this is um, you put this in. Well, this other one is kind of my invention. Good. Now, we're going to put back here. Here now, you listen. This is to put on. Now put on this. Just cut it like this. This, don't push it down. Make it stay like that. And you put it on like this. And then we use a flat hand screwdriver and try to fit it back. I have a little WD-40 here, you can touch a little bit there, inside here, and even a little over here and the inches, just a little. You see, this is service in the door, right, and that is what I'm here to explain today, how it works, and how to service it. I hope you have enjoyed the video, thanks for subscribing, and like I said, you can leave a comment and I'll try and answer it. One of them. Hope you enjoy this. Keep safe.